that's the opportunity. <laughs> we can just do it better. And my great grandparents sent boys from my son's age, who's you know, 17 and a half, off to world wars on the back of troop ships. Now, our little place in time for a challenge is dealing with what we currently have. And I'd rather deal with what we have, with the promise of what Canterbury and Christchurch has to offer, than what they faced in their particular time. Me and a number of my colleagues from a radio station up in, um, up in Auckland just got together for a drink and we were sitting in the bar and we were having a beer and uh, an earthquake rumbled through. It was definitely magnitude 4.5 to 5 and someone in the bar just shouted, bring it on. Like, you know, people just decided, let's just get on with it. You know, there was a real sense of, fi a real fighting spirit, I think, that still carries on to this day. I think the community has also got a bit tighter. Like, you're looking out for each other a bit more across the street, see how your neighbour's doing, and also your family on the other side of town. It's really brought, you know, just the Christchurch community and around New Zealand together. Friendships have been born out of just, they went digging together for a couple of weeks, and that's, I mean, that's pretty special as well. It, it seems that everyone's got like a two degree of separation here. Yeah, everyone knows everyone. Yeah. It's like a village, so everyone has to treat everyone nicely. I think since the earthquake, lots of people have been so much more friendly and they've got together. I love all the people and how they're so nice and I like all the walls. You know, living in a city where people actually care about each other and you know your neighbours, I think that's wonderful, so. No, when there's an earthquake, you just know, right, got to see the neighbours. Yeah, and you walk out and see the neighbours. I, th I was thinking about this and the main thing I love is the people. Um, in the culture that the people of Christchurch have. The most important thing really would be the people in general, really. I mean, you'd never get more friendly people and more the way they think, and uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Right? There's no way I'd leave Christchurch. People want you around. They want to see what you're like. They want to know who you are as a person and involve you in their lives. And I can't say it properly, but I say it. It is people, it is people, it is people. So that's why I'm here and I'll always stay here. Uh, I love Christchurch because it's got such strong values. It's got loyalty, those good old words that you don't hear any longer. Uh, it's got family values. I mean, if you want to raise a family, this is the place to be. Uh, you know, sports, arts, music, it has all of that that builds a good community and family. For a start off, we've got the best rugby team in the world. So to me, I wouldn't leave here full stop as far as the national game goes anyway, you know? We've got the river, we've got the park and the gardens and the museum. There's all these new galleries which just bring so much life and culture back into the city. And little theatre companies are starting up as well. And it's just amazing now. We, we had absolutely no art for a few months. All these beautiful little art companies have just started up. We went into Cashel Mall um, last weekend and the buzz and the atmosphere of the people was just, it, it came alive again, you know. It was Christchurch coming alive again after the earthquakes. And we were quite astounded. I, I, I got home and I was quite taken aback. I just walked around Ballantyne's, which I love, and I thought, we're going to be fine. When I walked out the door and they've done such a wonderful job in there. And I think you've got to be positive about Christchurch. You can't be negative. Look at all the things that have been done so far. Look at Cashel Street and how those men there have worked so hard for it. And it's just tremendous. Like who would have thought before February that that would have been the new way to shop to walk into a container and the fact that you can make a container look stylish and, and clothes can look great hanging up in a container. I mean, I think that's, that's pretty unique for Christchurch. Uh, I think the Cashel Street, for me, that was just so positive. It just shows that things can be done in a different way. You know, as you drive down the street and someone's put a coffee cart there and they've also decided to put some garden out there or some, or, um, some of the new bars that have opened up and they've put, you know, they've decided to... Yes, you can see that it was originally a garage, but they've been able to recreate it um, to have quite a unique feel. And I don't think you'd see those kind of things anywhere else in the world. So it's pretty exciting in that regard. We're so proud that we're still here, the people that have stayed, that we really want to be part of everything and I think we're going to support all the initiatives and all the innovation that the city um, evolves with. So yeah, hey, good stuff. I think that we will have a whole new set of architecture, just as Napier had. So we'll be iconic in that regard. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't identify what it's going to be, but it will be Christchurch. I know, they were saying like Napier's like Art Deco, well I think Christchurch probably will be the most safest place because yep. it'll be earthquake proof. 
Exactly. And they're thinking of having like green roofs, green like grassy roofs. Yeah, it's going to be cool so eco-friendly. Yeah. It's just going to be such an awesome city. Yeah. It's going to be really modern and just awesome, um, really futuristic, I hope. We will know everything there is to know about the seismic risk of our planes and our city area, which means that we know exactly where to build, exactly how to build, and so no matter what the seismic changes which occur in the years to come, it will be a better place to live for us and our families. The future for me will be uh, very different, but I believe it will be better. This is a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity to see a city shaped and developed by the people that are still living here. The opportunities for the rebuild are phenomenal. Not many cities get a, get a fresh start like this. We will be iconic, not only for New Zealand, not only for Australasia, but for the world. Because we've got an opportunity here that, as far as I'm aware, is unprecedented, that uh, we've got a rebuild which is going to be uh, uh, made possible out of insurance money, not out of debt. And I think we'll all be able to look back and go, wow, we wouldn't be here had we not gone through that. So from bad things, good things happen. And uh, we never want the bad things to happen, but we then treasure the good things that come out of it. We're the ones that lived through the earthquake, and it will be the ones in years to come that are in the, the new city or the new rebuilt city, and I think we need to lay our mark on it. I know, but I still think I'd like to come back in 30 years and see what's happened. However, I know I can't, but... <laughs> I mean, we've got a great chance, if we do it properly, to, to really make something mm -hmm. of Christchurch, you know? Mm -hmm. and it's really mind-boggling what you could do. With the, like, wonderful opportunity that we have to start again is to, you know, build on that brand of, of being a sustainable city and state-of-the-art and a, a place where people um, want to come and learn just to find out how we were able to you know start again and rebuild the city and a place that attracts really creative people and businesses that can contribute to the local economy. Uh, Christchurch for the future will be built on positive people. It has to be and it will be. And life is a lot of what ifs but I think we have to imagine and I think we've got to dare to imagine how great our city could be. I think we're going to have a fantastic city. I'm very excited because I'm a mum, I've got sons. I know that the city that they are going to inherit as they get older is going to be safer, stronger, more exciting, more vibrant and more appealing. <laughs>
It's true that we have lost so much, but oh, we've got so much to look forward to. And now the Christchurch Pops Choir are going to help us to begin that looking forward as they sing the song, You Raise Me Up. And as they do, the children in the front here are going to release the 185 monarch butterflies. <laughs> 